Water cycle explain. Describe the water cycle include evaporation, condensation, transpiration, respiration, and filtration. Hey, do you understand the water cycle? Well, well, never mind. I can help. Thanks. The water cycle is a diagrammatic representation of movement of water in the Earth's atmosphere. Really? It allows water to be available to all organisms at some stage in the cycle. How does it work? The water cycle is powered by the sun. It keeps water moving in a cyclic pattern through the atmosphere. I see. We could say the cycle starts with precipitation, rain, snow, etc., which falls to the earth, the catchment area. What's precipitation? Precipitation is the product of condensation that falls to the earth. Uh, like snow, sleet, and rain? That's correct. Some of the water run off into rivers, lakes, ponds, and sea. Does any of this water stay in the soil? Yes. Some of the water seep into the soil then pass through porous rocks to form underground stream. Some of the water also seep into underground non-porous rock basin to form aquifers, which are of course underground wells. The water, in passing through this many layers of soil and rocks, become filtered and purified. Is that the water we get from the well? Oh sure! Animals and plants also enjoy this nice water. We sure do. So how does this water return to the sky? Well, all water does not return to the sky. Some is stored in rivers, lakes, ponds, groundwater, ice caps, and the sea. However, during respiration, water is given off to the atmosphere. The sun uses its energy to get the water high in the sky where it is condensed. What's respiration? Respiration is a process that releases energy from the food we eat. However, water is also released to the atmosphere. Interesting. Some of the water also returns to the sky by transpiration from plants and evaporation from surface water. Transpiration evaporation, all of which condenses and continue the cycle in precipitation. Okay, transpiration is the way in which water leaves a plant and then is evaporated into the atmosphere. Evaporation is a process by which water changes from liquid to gas and rise to be condensed in clouds. Condensation this is the change of water from its gaseous state to liquid. It loses heat and excess water droplet forms clouds. Let's look at the water cycle in a little more detail. Follow on your screen. So here in the clouds, we have condensation taking place where the water droplets are cooled and excess water droplets would form cloud. This cloud, after some time, with some heat energy, causes precipitation. Precipitation comes in the form of rain and snow, etc. As you are seeing here, it is raining and snowing. It falls to the earth, which is called a catchment area, and then it forms runoff. If you observe this river here, you will see some runoff taking place, and the arrows are also showing the flow of water down to the sea. So this is the river. Then we have lakes over here that serve as pretty much reservoir for holding water. We have trees which use the water and later transpiration takes place returning the water to the atmosphere. We have ponds as well which would be collecting some amount of water from our streams and the runoff and from that too we will see evaporation taking place of water molecules to the sky. Animals also use the water and the water is returned to the atmosphere as they respire. Then we move on down to the aquifer. 
Water getting into the aquifer, which is, of course, underground well, would have passed through layers of soil, layers of rock, and throughout that process, the water become filtered and, of course, a farmer that is ready to be used. The water in the seas also evaporate into the clouds. And of course, the ice cap would have some amount of water that is stored. Now, the arrows are showing you the sequence in which the water is moving and from where it's coming and of course, going. Why is the cycle so important? It helps to purify and filter water. That's just one. It makes water available to many areas out of water. That's two. It provides water for organisms. The water is used for domestic, commercial, and also industrial purposes. Thanks for watching the water cycle from CSEC Biology, the cover page. I am Mr. Wilson. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And when you do, remember to hit that notification bell.